talk reproducibility when dyeing yarn. Some of the colorways I dye are very reproducible. Even if I'm measuring with my heart, even if I'm dyeing them days, weeks apart, I can get the same results. But then there are other times where even if I measure out the dye for each batch, things can behave differently in a way I can't explain. Maybe some of the yarn floated to the surface, and so when I poured on the dye, the dye went down underneath and spread more. Maybe I poured the dyes in faster or slower. Maybe there's some other little variable that I cannot control for that is affecting how the dyes spread or don't spread in an immersion pan. I like to film myself trying out different dyeing projects when I'm attempting them for the first time. So that way, when things don't turn out as I expect, I can share that. I can share the things that perplex me and we can all learn together. And the resulting yarn here is all very beautiful. It's just definitely not consistent and definitely not the same colorway, even though each was dyed with the same setup and the same amount of dye, the same amount of yarn. But hey, after dyeing thousands of skeins of yarn, I sure am still learning. And hopefully while I'm learning, I can help you learn something too. If you wanna see this whole dyeing project and understand more about the context of what I'm musing about here, go and check out uh, the 2024 Chemnitz Hanukkah special night four video on the Chemnitz Tutorials YouTube channel.